In this episode of The Edge, we explore the future of beauty and where better to go than the cosmetics capital of the world. I've come to Paris, a hub of innovation, where fashion, cosmetic and beauty trends are forecast seasons ahead before they're rolled out to the consumer. And many of those trend predictions are made here at Peclair Paris, a leading consultancy which advises some of the world's biggest brands in tech, fashion and, of course, beauty. Research and Future Insights director Emma Frick and her team predict everything from product colours, textures and even packaging. The work I do is really to try to anticipate and um, um, uncover trends uh, which will shape, influence uh, uh, society in the next three, five to ten years. So the way we work uh, in the office is to really to try to capture emerging signs that we can find in the media, uh, in innovative companies, uh, in technology, in science, um, in economy or in the political field. And from that we try to understand what are the new emerging behaviours, lifestyle, usage that are emerging that can influence the future of our clients in the beauty and, and uh, um, and other fields, actually, uh, industries. There are a lot of trends that are relating to the growing need for more and more self-expression, more singularity. Um, and I think one of the other really big drivers is what's happening at the crossroad between science and the digital world. The Paris region is home to research and development centres for countless global brands, including the world's biggest beauty business, L'Oreal. With a portfolio of 34 brands, including Garnier, Kiehl's and Lancome, a team of almost one and a half thousand scientists are constantly developing the latest innovations in everything from shampoo to makeup, specially tailored for individual markets around the world. I've been given special rare access to the L'Oreal Cosmetic Research and Innovation Center here in Paris. But before I go in, I need to put my lab coat on. Bernique, what are the team doing here in this lab? We are doing some tests, huh, of course, and we are first understanding the woman, so we have some specific evaluation to really understand what they want. And once we know what do they want in terms of wear, in terms of coverage, we are currently doing some tests here in the lab uh, in order to design and to adjust the formulation. As well as working hard to create perfect formulations for women around the world, the team here have also developed technology which creates personalised foundations for any skin tone. Michael Haddad helped create the technology. It was very interesting to start personalisation with foundation. You know, there are so different skin tones everywhere on the planet, everybody is looking for the, the perfect match. And if you have to do personalisation in makeup, you should start with foundation because it's where you will see a difference. And tell me a little bit how it works. So it's uh, different technologies in fact. First you have to measure the, the skin tone. So you have to use a scanner, a colorimeter that will really precisely measure your skin tone. So we have a machine, a machine learning algorithm. It's a bit of artificial intelligence that will predict what will be the best tone for you. And then the information is sent to this machine via the iPad and we have a second algorithm that will predict the recipe of the foundation that will allow you to, to get this perfect foundation. And you have to know that the foundation is made of yellow, red, white and black. It's because you know, in your skin you have melanin and hemoglobin and it's, that's what makes colors in fact on your skin. And this algorithm will really dose uh, drop by drop the, the perfect concentration of each of these uh, element component to, to make your own foundation. And I couldn't come all this way without trying it for myself. Hi, Javan, so Hello, nice to meet you. And now I give you, Tanya, your personal foundation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I've got my own personalised foundation, so all I need now is the magic mirror. Hi, I'm Arjun Kapoor. Thanks for watching The Edge. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes. And don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Live channel right here at the bottom of the screen.